Yeah, yeah before. Yeah. Um, so you, uh, what was the first? Um, when was it? Was it your call? They've, all four have been at your call. They've all, yeah, they've all been against English opposition. The sort of like tough journey, mm -hmm. kind of a box sort of people from this country. What was it like um, doing the first film walk? You were called because yeah. it's 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 mad because you go you walk past the bar most yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it was, was cold. Crazy. It was freezing. Yeah. yeah. No, it was good. Man. It was um, it's funny actually. The first fight I had, I'd been inactive for just like well, almost two years. Mm -hmm. So that was that beat, and I I'd just done the the the, uh, the walk in, in York Hall, you know, famous venue, and. Um, I got in there, I'd had a chat with my opponent before, he was a really nice bloke, and he was talking to me, and I was like, I ain't going to be fucking talking in a minute. <laughs> but um, the, uh, the announcer stopped and said, you know, we was both in the ring, and he was like, you're going to have to move the ambulance before we can get the fight started, because it was blocking the fire exit. So I was in the ring for my debut, you know, soaking in the atmosphere for about seven minutes before they even announced that whilst they moved the... Uh, yeah, the ambulance from outside. So, so what was it like with you know, your, your mates and family and stuff? That, that was good, man. I was, I was. Um, Cause you must be able to hear them as well, because it's literally you're so close. Mm -hmm. aren't you? Well, that, that was the first time most people had seen me fight. So I was in the ring. I was just looking around. And it's the first time I've been in the ring in this famous venue. Uh, yeah, that that was that was pretty good actually. I enjoyed that. Yeah. So um, after after that, what was the uh, the, the feeling? You know. Get, getting a victory in oh, the first yeah. professional fight. Class, man, it was class. It was like a dream come true. It was something I'd always wanted to do, and I finally done it. It was a huge, because in my own head, I was the boxer that never, that never boxed. Because I, I, you know, I'd post about it, and I, I hadn't boxed in so long. Um, so to get that weight off my chest, and you know, finally be a pro, and I could push on. And since I've had three fights in the last sort of eight months, so, you know, well, well, four fights in the last eight months, so I've been, Pretty active. Mm -hmm. it, it was the best thing I could have done, just push myself out there. And, uh, and you know, your next fight uh, scheduled in April. Yeah. Um, what is the plan this year? Is it to try and get as many four six rounders in as possible? Yeah, I, I don't know whether this is going to be a four or a six, just because you know um, the way boxing works behind the scenes. You know, is, you know I, I just sort of get in there and fight. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna box it um, in April. Um, uh, yeah, I just want to keep at it. I want to get my name out there. I've, I've got a good fan friendly style and you know a good atmosphere when I fight. So I just want someone to see to see what I can do. And, um, sign me up and get me on telly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's probably the dream. Yeah, well, that's, that, that's the dream. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those um, you know, had some, you know, he's got some good contacts as well. Yeah. Oh, Mo's, I like Mo. Mo's a good lad. I have, um, I've been on a few of his shows and yeah, he's really, really had some really good fights and stuff. And I think, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's about getting, getting experience, I suppose, and then, yeah. and then putting your name out. Like you say, to keep winning and stuff, you know, you again. That's it. You can't, you can't ignore a winning record if you're selling tickets as well. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's, 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 that's the plan for, for the next year. So do you think, um, in, in, your, in your mind, when, when do you want to... Like maybe go for something like some area or English or what do you think you'll be? Um, the thing is, right, I, I'd do it. Sorry, that's, that's right. That's right. I'd, I'd, I'd do it, you know, this year. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I, I, I want to win in some yeah. area. But Adam says, you know, you're only young, there's no rush. So I reckon give it two years, maybe get ten fights. I, I don't know, that's, that's just what. What I'd imagine you have. Experience, I suppose. Fight yeah. Fighting different levels of opposition, southpaws, and, and yeah. Dogs and My first three opponents were southpaws. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So I, you know, but that it's good though. It's good experience. Like, box all different people. Step up six rounds, eight rounds before you do the ten. Yeah. So you know, I'm in no rush. I, I think I'll, I'll box a time about two years, and um, yeah. In regards to sparring, have you, uh, have you sparred anyone? Um, you know, that we've known? Yeah, um, I sparred like I sparred Kurt Garvey, English champion. You know, he's a lot bigger than me, so it's not like mad sparring. But um, I sparred Kurt, Jermaine Brown, I couldn't come up. Jamie Carley, these are all fighters from Adams Adams yeah. gym. But Alfie Winter is a good um, prospect coming through the amateur ranks. I've done lots of sparring with him. Mason Smith, yeah, I sparred him. He gets hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I've sparred sort of, um, who else have I sparred? 
I lost by Jeff Smith a few years ago, he just got to the southern area. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I only once, Nathan Wilson. Um, yeah, quite quite a lot of boys I've sparred. Uh, the way I look at sparring, it's just experience, spar as many people as you can. You know, if, if someone wants to try and knock you out, it's good experience to, to survive it, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, don't really want to be trying to knock each other out in sparring. It's sort of like learning. And what, is there any boxers that you look look up to? Really? Yeah, I know you said Dan and Lovekin before, but I mean, yeah. is, is there any other like in, in your weight class that you think? I like oh, I love Golovkin, man. Yeah. I'm a Triple G fan, boy. Just sign so design, isn't he? Yeah, he has, yeah. I, I, I think he's coming to the end of his career now. I think he'll yeah, have yeah. probably yeah. a year or two left. But I think he was he was avoided for, for quite a long time. Yeah. Maybe because of um, his fierce punching power. And obviously, since he's got a bit under it. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just his intensity, I suppose. I mean, he. I just love the way he is. I love the way he's such a nice bloke out of the ring. Mm. And then he'll kill you in the ring. Do you know what I mean? He's just. When you watch him, uh, I, I remember watching him fight uh, this bloke called Lachlan Simon, I think, just like flicked on it. Poor. Then I watched him box Matthew Macklin, yeah. and since then I just watched every single fight and studied the way he boxed and the way he was. And I just, I went to the Brook fight, I saw that live. Like, oh, is it? Oh, yeah, I just, I just it, something. I watched it on TV. It was, it was, it was hard because, like, I like Brook, um, mm. but, you know, the golf kid's just an absolute. Yeah. I thought he was going to have him out in the first round. Oh, I think Brooke yeah. was stunned that he was holding it. <laughs> me and my friend, I went with my friend. And my, my friend's English, but he, he, he looks a bit sort of, he looks a little bit foreign. And he had triple G hats on. And everyone was, everyone thought he was Kazakh. <laughs> everyone was getting up and saying, you Kazakh. But no, mate, no, I'm English. <laughs> that was funny. Um, but yeah, no, I, I love Golovkin. Other fighters, I, I, I mean, I, you know, there's fighters I don't like. Um, I won't pay names, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I sort of like ent entertaining fighters, like, you know, Lomachenko, but sort of out of the ring as well. I, I like how people behave out of the ring. Like, you know. mm. I, I don't really like people that talk at all. I like McGregor on his way up. I thought he was funny, and um, you know, he was he was quite intelligent of how he talked. You know, he predict the round. He would talk about the mindset. I, I enjoyed that. I don't like sort of people that are just sort of trash talking, just mm. literally just like trash talk. Like. Yeah. Like people, you know, it's like crazy, yeah. yeah, no, I saw that, yeah. That's, like, that wasn't even funny. Thing, it's a bit, well, that's a little bit. Yeah, there's, there's it's cringy as well. If, if, if you're funny, like. Uh, it, it, I understand trash talk. If you've got a, like an actual ride, like the, the, the Gal and Groves and Frosch, you know, they, they generally don't kind of like each other. But yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, sometimes I see like trash talk and it's like, it's a bit like kind of trying to build a fight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah, it is a bit forced, doesn't it? And then you yeah. give each other a big kiss and a hug after. Yeah. Um, like, kind of felt like that. Was, I'm not going to say on camera, but there's been a few fights recently. Yeah, and yeah. Just, um, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know yeah. There's, there's, there's been big ones as well. But you're a bit like, oh, I like Darren Barker as well. I, yeah. met, I met Darren Barker. Yeah, my, my dad cried when he won the world title. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's nice to see like, fighters like that that probably are not expected. Maybe to win world titles, isn't it? Obviously. Oh, mate, yeah. And that body shot, man. If, I don't know if people are watching this and they, they've never been hit with, with a body shot, like, oh, Jesus Christ. Man. It's like, phew, it just takes everything out of you. I've been in the knee uh, in, like, in the kidneys and stuff like that. It's like, it, Literally, you oh, can't mate. breathe if you're on the floor. And yeah. yeah it's, these people get out after like under 10 seconds and I'm rolling on the floor for like two minutes. <laughs> I, I, I was there in Park Hall once when I was a kid and I, I'd never been winded, but well, I probably had, like, I can't remember. And I jumped on my back yeah. and I just got so badly winded. That's the only thing I can compare it to. Just, yeah. just imagine falling on your back and just having all of your oxygen taken out of you. But imagine that in a pinpoint area in your solar plexus where you live. That's, that's all I can compare it to. So for yeah, for, for boxers to get up from body shots, especially Darren Barker, to win, that was that was a great start. Just saying, uh, yeah, we've done like half an hour. Blimey. This is literally flowing Yeah, on. yeah. Um, just um, a couple of, obviously there's some fights kind of coming up, obviously. Um, yeah. Any, any particular fights you're looking forward to see um, domestically and, you know, by the way? Yeah, 
Spence Garcia, because I think Hayaki Garcia is class. But he's small. It's going to go on TV4 or something. Is it? It should be because it's PBC. I hope it's over. Yeah, well, it's free. Yeah. I think that one I'm looking forward to because I think Spence's footwork, his range, his, his, his tiny little sort of defensive uh, movements are so underrated. But Spence, uh, Spence is a beast. So I can see quite like big, big in for, for massive, yeah. yeah. It's huge. And I, I love Michael Cross when he came back um, after the, the couple of years. Uh, <coughs> it was really good to see him. Mm. He's another one who just stepped up and fought. But yeah. I don't know, in my mind, I think um, I think Spence is just going to be too big. I think he's yeah. going to be stopped. Him. Might be like the Lovkin Brooks sort of thing. I know they're yeah. not. Because not... Spence is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's what I mean. That's... Yeah, so. Uh, that one I'm looking forward to. Um, but I mean, Khan, of course. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that, yeah. But yeah, fair play to Khan. Uh, I can't believe people are knocking him for not taking the Brook fight. Because he's fighting, you know, the number two pound for pound fighter. It's a real tough fight, isn't it? Oh, imagine if he beats him, though. You can have one to make a rematch, but I mean, if he beats him, <sighs> mate, sail off into the sunset. Yeah. No more haters. Yeah. I, I respect Khan. I know he got he got done by Canelo. I mean, he seems to like he's outside of boxing. Some of the stuff that he's done is, you know, I can see why he gets a lot. Of yeah. Stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. But I mean, he's like you can't afford it, you know, silver. He's he's got balls, man. He's got he's he's got bottle. I, I like him, and he's been in there with the best. Well, my mind's gone blank. I can't think of any other ones. Uh, I suppose you've got Joshua Miller. Um, yeah. Uh, which I think, pretty, I think not that Joshua is something to do for. I think. I think so. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I think it'll be an Aliens like possible. Miller's just big, isn't he? He's about 23 stone, you know? He is, but you know what? I think, um, I think, I think just was just going to just just going to answer it from the form of the beginning and kind of, I think he needs to make a bit of a statement. Or no, he probably thinks he needs to make a bit of a statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, should, he should definitely pay it. Right. Uh, because he's, he's got a bit of stick um, on social media for the fight. Thing is, right? It's not always his fault when he's fought. You know, there's so much politics, isn't there? That it's, yeah. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm not like a massive Daho Joshua fan, but like he gets slated. But he's had what 22 fights and he's boxed Parker, Klitschko, White, Takam, um, and Eric Molina. Yeah, I know he's <laughs> no. the only one that he never sees in an interview. I've seen a few interviews and you go yeah. answer the list and he never sees Eric Molina. <laughs> 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 like Eric Molina, almost chin guard. Yeah. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, like, those are good names. Yeah. Uh, he's still only, he's, quite, he's an experience for a world champion, so, you know. He has to train, I know he gets a lot of money, he has to train hard for these fights, so you know, he'll feel him not fighting Wilder, I'd imagine. I don't know about Fury. I like Fury, uh, but I don't know whether that fight will just happen. I was disappointed happen. that the Fury and Wilder 2 didn't happen, but mm -hmm. again, it's, he's going to have to be in now. Wilder's going to be going to fight Brazil, which I think he smashed a bit. Um, Probably, yeah. yeah. If, I'm, if I'm honest. Um, and then, I don't know, I, it's just frustrating just to see these, like, yeah, man. Yeah, see these three kind of, they should just do a look at uh, that first, that first Fury fight. Okay. No, that was just mad, I don't know. I, I, I was getting Dillian White in there, like over now too, just like a mini Super Series semi final. Why? Yeah, yeah. And Skimmel final, it would just be. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's what you'd be after, wouldn't it? But it's politics. But um, yeah, I love Fury. Fury's funny. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a personality, I like him. He's, uh, he's a big one of a lot of people like Chris Yeah, I like to have any. And it's Batman soon. <laughs> yeah, the press conference. Yeah. 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 I like it. So, yeah. Characters in boxing, you know, you know, you're the kind of. Yeah, characters. yeah. Personality sells, doesn't it? I yeah. mean, you know, stay true to who you are, I think, but, you know, you get lots of boxers that are like, yeah, camp's gone really well. Uh, really good. Like, but people don't care. People want to know about you, your story. Yeah, yeah you, have to, you have to sell a fight. See, what, those, those questions, like, I'm, I know they always get asked, how was camp? You know, yeah. it's, such a, you're not going to turn around and say, oh no, I've actually got an injury. Yeah, oh, mate, it's been awful, yeah. yeah. I haven't been training, I haven't been sparring, I'm probably going to lose. You know what I'm going to say, do you know what I mean? It's going to give the same answer. But still, but. Like, I suppose it's one of the most questions that gets asked, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes, you know, it's quite interesting to hear, like, top level fighters, how their training's gone. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, just to kind of see me wrap up, um, do you. As a, as a boxer just starting out, do, do you really have kind of plans for like when you want to finish boxing and what you want to do after yeah. boxing? Like, you know, because I feel that this is not covered or promoted enough that, you know, 
box is a short for it, you know, if you don't make it like the Joshua's on pay per view, you know, it's, the money's not going to be as rewarding. You know, do you already have hands in place to it? We don't put money in a pension when you're a boxer, do you? You no. just get it and you know, most of them spend it. I do, yeah, I think about it quite a lot. I've actually spoken to a few athletes, like footballers um, that are retired now. And I asked them about how did you cope after boxing, just because it's a brutal sport, such a high, highly addictive sport. Um, and yeah, I have got plans, you know, I, um, I, I actually enjoy, it. Not, not, I don't know if it's journalism, but I enjoy writing my own columns. And I actually, I, I've written probably about six or seven columns for Boxing Monthly, and they've been published online. I, I haven't been doing that lately, um, but I, I, I love that, and they've, they've had good feedback. Obviously, this year, once, once you're a, a boxer, you know, people always have that respect for you, so I, I've got my personal training. Um, yeah, I, I just, I like trying things, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not going to say no to anything just because the more people you know, the more stuff you can do, the more opportunities I'll get once I've finished boxing and, you know. Would you, would you consider being a coach, trainer? Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I sort of, I don't know. I'm not a manager, no. no. Uh, politics, let's throw off this whistle there. Politics, um drives me mad to be honest, so I couldn't do a deal with that. I, I mean, I like teaching people, I like seeing people come on. Um, so yeah, coaching I could do, I, I, I love the technical aspect of it as well. Um, so yeah, coaching, I mean... The content? I mumble quite a lot, I'm quite hard to understand. <laughs> so I'd probably be on it like... Blah, 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 blah. So I don't know about that, but... Um, writing about it, I, yeah. I'd love, to, I'd love to get a job writing about it. I was actually watching Michael Bent, um, this documentary on Netflix, Losers, and he was obviously, he did enjoy boxing, had a blood clot, and after boxing he was acting, writing, so, you know, uh, yeah. It's good that you've, you know, you've, you've got some articles published, I mean, hmm. I think many people, you know, it's... Um... Well, the thing is, uh, I, I can sort of give an insight, I, I, I mean, not like blowing my own trumpet, I am actually quite a good writer, mm -hmm. quite um, intellectual. My granddad was an English teacher, so I, I enjoy it as well, and I can give it a, an insight into to the life of a professional boxer. There's lots of things which would be reviewing fighters, reviewing fighters, but when it's actually coming from yourself, you can really dig into it. I know of, uh, an author called Paul Zan, mm -hmm. uh, who helped me get into that, and he helped. You know, he was helping me with my writing, so. Yeah, I um, to be honest, I'm not really thinking too deeply into it, but I like keeping my options open. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you're kind of pretty into it, which is good. Yeah. And, uh, but um, yeah, just just once again, just shout out your social media um, so people can pick up the tickets again. Uh, Daniel Morley, not, uh, no, Dan Morley, ninety-seven, I think, uh, on Instagram. I mean, to be honest, that's the only one you'll probably get me on. It's Twitter, I'm a bit. I just look at funny videos and routine. Yeah. To be honest, there, <laughs> but Instagram, I, I do use that. Um, yeah, it'll be my Instagram. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, any, any last words? Um, yeah, well, I've already shouted my sponsors out, so yeah. just a thank you to thank you for yourself for doing the interview. Right. Um, yeah, just a, a big thanks to everyone who's been supporting me along the way, and it does help. Um, I try and thank everyone in person that I can, but it's, it's, it's getting, I'm getting. No, not not like recognised, but people start to know know me as a boxer now. So it's 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 good. It's getting there. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, right, listen, we're um, we see you in April. Yeah. And we're trying to get down to gym at some point as well. Yeah, top man, top yeah. man. You're always welcome. Nice. Cheers. Man. Thank you very much.